Welcome to this tutorial for activity 2-1, distance and displacement activity. Here we go on OneNote. Number one has us looking at displacement relative to previous position. Uh, what that means is that in this table here, each cell in the table represents how far to travel in a straight line. Down below here, we have essentially it looks like a number line, but it's a coordinate system in one dimension. Everything to the right is positive and everything to the left is negative. And so what we're gonna do is draw out the vectors and we'll be able to answer two questions. Those questions are, what is the total distance this person or object traveled at the very end of movement? And what was the final position away from the origin? The origin being, of course, here at the center, zero. Um, so I'm gonna go and choose an arrow and we're gonna start at the origin here and go to uh, and draw a vector that's 25 meters long. And so I'm gonna do that here, and that's about 25, that's good. Let's make that a little thicker for us to see it. And I'm gonna go to my drawing tools, select the pen, and put a little hash mark here. And also label this 25 meters, so we know how long it is, 25 meters. And I'll put a little check mark here to say that we've done that one. All right, the next one is at, it tells us to go 10 meters in the negative direction. That's 10 meters backwards from there. So let's choose another arrow. And we are going to go from our previous position, which is at position 25, and we'll go leftward 10 meters. So I'm gonna draw a vector that is 10 meters long. That means it looks like we're at position 15 right now. Let's make that a little thicker as well. And I'll select my pen put a little hash mark here, and here we go. This is negative 10 meters, the length of that arrow. You, you see that the vectors are proportional in their length. The 25 meter vector is longer than the 10 meter vector, and that makes intuitive sense. That's how vectors work. Uh, let's put a check mark here, move on to 15 meters. Okay, so back to our arrow tool. And from this position of 15, if we go 15 meters forward, that's gonna put us at position 30. So here it is. Here's our vector. All right. Thicken that up and select the pen once again and we'll label this as 15 meters. Uh, why not? A little hash mark there and a check mark there. All right. Two to go. Uh, next one says we should go backwards a uh, displacement of 20 meters. So it's heading towards the origin from here. So select another arrow. We're now at 30 meters. We go back backwards 20 meters. That'll put us at position 10. And so here we go. That's about good. Uh, thicken that up. And go to the drawing tools. And we are now at position 10. So there's a little mark there. And this is a vector size of negative 20. It's, well, it's magnitude is 20, but its direction is negative. We could say it like that. So we've got one more. Let's check it off. We're gonna go five meters forwards from our previous position, which is at 10 meters, where we're currently at. Um, let's bring out the arrow, okay? We're at 10 meters. We'll go forwards five meters like that. That's the smallest of the vectors. Let's thicken that up and go and choose the pen for a label of five meters. Okay, and looks like we're at a spot we visited before, position 15. All right, so here we go. Let's label this up as 15. So let's try to answer some of the questions that we have now that we've done all this. Down a little bit, down the page. So we're seeing just the vectors on the number line, and now we've got the two questions. What's the total distance this person or object traveled, and what about the final position? Well, it turns out that the final position is a lot easier to figure out because we see in front of us. We saw that uh, after going forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, in this designation, we notice that we have ended up at position 15 meters, and so it's like that. So um, we can answer part B first, and that's totally okay. Sometimes that's the easier thing to do. So we're at position 15 meters, but how far did this person walk, drive, whatever the case may be, he probably walked. Um, what we can do here is note that even though there's forwards and backwards motion, each time that's performed, there's a length 
uh, associated with it. There's a distance that's been traveled. So for example, we go 25 meters forwards at the beginning and then 10 meters backwards. That's a total of 35. So one of the tricks here is that we can add up all of the lengths of these vectors, no matter what direction they're going, since they're all either left or right in this case, um, and then get the result that way. We add up the absolute value. So we can just put that down as a little trick here. So um, add absolute value of all vector of all vectors. All right. So I'm going to do that below here. And it turns out that OneNote has a cool little feature. It has a simple calculator within it. So watch this. I'm going to go and as long as you type the units, just the number is fine, just like any regular calculator. So I'm going to type 25 plus 10 meters, even though we went backwards, the actual uh, distance moved was 10 meters, plus 15 meters, plus 20 meters, plus 5 meters. I put the equal sign down, and boom, I have 75. So the answer to the total distance this person or object traveled, in this case, is 75 meters, like that. There we go. We can pretty that up, but... That's what it is. That's number one. We'll see you in a bit for number two. Boom. The numbers are the same, but they represent something different now, right? This is called displacement from origin. So, yeah, you know, what does that mean? It means that each cell in this table now represents where to go, what location to travel to in a straight line. It'll be easy to follow along and see how I draw the vectors to uh, put this together. And then afterwards, we get the same questions here. What's the total distance this person or object traveled? And what's the final position? So even though we have the same numbers, it's really not exactly the same uh, designation. These numbers mean something different. Well, the first one is the same because we're going to go from zero meters, the origin, to position 25 meters. So let's snag an arrow and do that. Uh, all right, so we go to 25 meters. That looks pretty familiar. We'll thicken that up and we'll put our hash mark here. Grab the pen. Whoosh. All right, 25 meters. Next up, though, we're not going to go 10 meters backwards. We're actually going to position negative 10. That's over here, where I just put this little hash mark. So now we have a much longer vector. Uh, let's draw that next. So I grab the arrow. It's in the negative direction. So I start here at position 25 and go all the way back to position negative 10. Let's thicken that up. How far is that? Well, we went 25 meters to the origin and then another 10 meters. That's, for, that's a total of negative 35. So negative 35 meters is the amount of uh, displacement that took place here from this position all the way to position negative 10. All right, so from position 25 to position negative 10. All right, let's uh, put the check marks down so we know where we are. Um, next up is that we're going to go to position 15. That's over here. Let's go and pick up an arrow and do that. So this vector begins at negative 10 and goes all the way here to position 15. Let's thicken it up. How far is that? Well, we got 10 meters to the origin and then another 15, that's 25 forwards. So let's label that as a vector length of 25 meters. All right. And that one's done. Now we get two to go. Now we're going from the position which is, which we're at is 15. And we'll go to position negative 20. That's over here. Let's grab an arrow. And we'll do exactly that. So whoosh. Book. And we're at position negative 20. How far is that vector? Well, it's pretty long. Let's go see. Uh, we began at position 15 to the origin and another 20. That's, once again, negative 35 meters. Let's check that off. Oh, I forgot to thicken this guy. Eh. Are we okay not doing it? Let's see if it's easy enough to do that and grab it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little concerned. I'm a little concerned. Uh, yeah, that looks fine. <laughs> All right. So now... Grab the pen again, and uh, we're at, this vector is negative 35 meters. Excellent. So we have one more to do, and that is now going from position negative 20 meters past the origin all the way to position 5 meters. Let's see what that's going to look like. Um, 
So we have a vector, get the arrow out, yeah, from 20 all the way to 5. So it looks like it's another vector of 25 meters, like this. And we'll thicken that up and go back to make our hash mark here at 5 meters. This is 5 meters. That's our final position. And what we will do is label it. So this is a vector size of 25 meters. Right on. Well done. Okay. Let's check it off and we'll see how we can calculate the uh, two things we want, which is to find the, the total distance and final position. Bye-bye. It's forwards where we end up in position five meters, but guess what? Actually, I'm going to show you something. Hey, look up here. Since this is displacement from origin, this tells you where to go. You kind of see it already. All you need to do is read it off of the table. Five meters is our final position. We can do that right away. How cool is that? We don't even have to uh, figure out anything else for this particular activity here. So that's the final position once again, the easier one to find. What about the total distance? Okay, well, Again, we're going to use the uh, absolute value trick that we saw last time, but we're not adding these numbers up together. We want to add the lengths of the vectors to get the total distance. Okay, so let's uh, let's put that down here. All right. So again, use the absolute value uh, technique, but 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 but. Uh, we need to add the values of the vectors, vector lengths, and not from, from the table, eh? All right, so let's do that. We have 25 forwards, well, 20, 35 backwards, but that's okay. We're just measuring the actual distance uh, walked, the length there. Um, plus another 25, plus another 35, plus another 25, so it kind of alternates like that, equals 145, and that's our answer. So we notice that using the same numbers with this designation, because we're going through the origin, the vectors are longer, therefore the total distance walked back and forth is also longer than the, uh, than the first activity, number one. So let's put this down and wrap it up. One, four, Five and heck, 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 that's a wrap. More right out.